We begin with breaking news. Two people have been killed during a shootout in San Pedro. Five others are injured tonight as police search for the shooters. It all happened after an argument broke out at a baseball game near Peck Park. Witnesses say they heard more than 100 gunshots. We've got team coverage of the deadly shooting. Carlos Soceto is live on the ground for us in San Pedro. He's got the breaking details there, but we want to begin with Gil Levis. He's overhead in Sky 5 with the latest from above the scene. Gil? Rick and Courtney, you can see the scene here at Peck Park. On, to the left there is the ball field. And let me zoom in where the shooting occurred. Now, this all started before 4 o'clock this afternoon here at Peck Park. Two people are dead. Five others were wounded at, at the shooting scene here. Uh, this was really close to a uh, car show that was taking place at the time. Now, four men and three women were among the victims, ranging in age from 23 to 54. Let's go to some video that was shot on the ground of the shooting scene shortly after the shooting. I can tell you that police uh, say the shooting was the result of a dispute between two parties, uh, not a random attack, and, un and it's unknown if it was gang-related, but I can also tell you it's unclear how many shooters but uh, were involved, but police believe they there were at least two shooters involved in the, in the shooting here, but you can see crime scene uh, taking place here, the investigation taking place. I can tell you that Western, Western Avenue is open right now. Uh, it was closed earlier during the afternoon for the uh, investigating and the shooting after they cleared out all the people. But again, uh, the shooting here in the park and near the ball field, leaving two dead and five others wounded. That's the latest overhead in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Gil, thanks for more details. We want to get down to the ground now where KTLA 5's Carlos Soceto. He's been there all afternoon at the scene of the shooting. Hi, Carlos. Hey, we're going for good evening. That's right, a chaotic scene out here at this park. We're told that 500 people, families with young children, were here when gunfire erupted after a dispute. Two people were killed, five, other, five others injured. And tonight, the suspects, the shooting suspects, are still on the run. A Sunday picnic at a park disrupted by gunfire. Over 100. Yeah, over 100 good shots. Shots rang out at Peck Park in San Pedro just before 4 in the afternoon near a baseball field, sending 500 people running for cover. And then all of a sudden, it was more pow, 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 you know? So we jumped up and we started running. Authorities say there was an unpermitted car show happening on the grounds, but it's unclear if the shooters were attending the event. Police say there was a dispute between two groups of people when the shooting happened. And we feel like the bullets in our head just like passing by. Marco Quijano was with his wife and two young kids. The last minute I was thinking that I'm going to die. So what I did is my wife protect my son. I put my, da my daughter on that car. So my, my wife protect my kid and I just put my head on top of his head just because I was thinking that he's going to kill us. The chaos leaving many confused. Now early on we know that there was some concern whether this was an active shooter or not because when people call 911 you can still hear some bullets taking place. An active shooter is a low frequency high risk incident and this was not an active shooter incident. A total of seven people were shot, two dying of their injuries. The victims range in age between 23 to 54 years old. LAPD went on a citywide tactical alert as they set up a wide perimeter searching for the shooters. We've also brought in resources from uh, all of South Bureau and some other of uh, mutual aid to include Park Rangers, Torrance PD and the sheriffs. And we're told that weapons have been recovered here at scene, but no one has been detained. No one has been arrested and police do not have a suspect description. So, of course, anyone with any information on the suspects on this shooting encouraged to contact the LAPD. We're live in San Pedro, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.